What's going on everybody? Peter here back with another video. Today we're discussing what defines success for the Ohio State Buckeyes in the 2024 season. What is it going to take for this season to be considered a successful season? Is it natty or bust? Let's talk about it. With all the returning talent and production, 15 starters return for the Buckeyes, including key additions in the transfer portal, of course, Caleb Downs and Quinshawn Judkins. This team is stacked and loaded and poised for a dominating 24 campaign. Now, personally, I'm a college football historian. I love college football history. I love Big Ten football history. I love studying these things. And a successful season before the, the 98 season, the BCS came along, was beating your arch rival and winning your conference championship. Usually those coincided if you're either an Ohio State fan or a Michigan fan. And so that really has shaped my fanhood, especially where I live. That's really shaped my fanhood, living in Michigan in the belly of the beast. Beating that team is, is of the utmost importance to me as an Ohio State fan. But I understand things have changed, time has have changed, and the regionalism of the sport is completely gone. And so winning a conference isn't important. Winning every game isn't as important anymore. Because, let's face it, in the days of Woody and Bo and even Earl Bruce and early John Cooper days, you lose to Michigan, your season's over. You're not winning the Big Ten Championship more, more than likely, and you're not going to the Rose Bowl. Well, those days are long gone with the playoffs now. And as much as I desperately try and cling to the past, and wish college football had not gone down this money gravy train. Yes, I love the popularity of the sport. Yes, I love that I can watch every football game on TV now. I get that. I love it. You know, it's a fabulous thing. But, man, do I crave for the days of pre-NIL and, shoot, <laughs> even pre-playoffs. But the reality of the situation is we're never going back to that. We've opened Pandora's box and the playoffs are here to stay. And that is an exciting thing, I do admit, as well. So with that in mind, for me, what it defines as success, you have to beat Michigan, period. You cannot let this run continue. Let this three-year cute little streak there on end and retain supremacy in the conference and become, once more, the kings of the conference. Another non-negotiable for me this year, complete it. Don't just beat Michigan and lose the Big Ten Championship. Win the Big Ten title. Earn that first round playoff by and retain your supremacy at the top of the conference. Take it back with a vengeance. And finally, the playoffs, addressing them. The players said it themselves back in January. Our goal and the reason we came back is to beat that team up north, win the Big Ten Championship, and win the national title. Everybody in the Woody is saying it's national title or bus time for Ohio State. The pressure is on Ryan Day in the 2024 Ohio State Buckeyes. They have to complete the task at hand. The talent is too rich. Michigan lost a lot, including their staff, four returning starters. You know, playoffs are going to, there's going to be upsets. Injuries are part of the season. But it's time to take what's yours, get it back, and become the kings of college football once more. Anything else less than that, honestly, will probably be a disappointment for this season. And that's a hard thing for me to say because typically I'm, all, I'm, just, I'm totally content and fine beating Michigan and winning a Big Ten championship. Now, I know my buddy Rob, my co-partner on the channel, he, he completely disagrees. He, he thinks it, it, it is all about the national title or bust. And I can see how he could say that. For this year, I think that's that's a real possibility for this Buckeye team. They proclaim it themselves. They have to go and prove it, though. Off-season champions, so what? We want to be the 2024 season champions. Crown national titles at the end of the year. Anything less is going to feel like a massive disappointment with this roster and this coaching staff that's compiled in Columbus. But I want to hear from you guys down below. What defines success for you? Now, I know we're kind of split in generations. I'm 35, so 35 and up kind of is in that, you know, beat Michigan, win the Big Ten, you know, regionalism type deal like it used to be pre-BCS. And I know, you know, the younger crowd, millennials and, and, and Gen Zs, of course, 
They grew up in the BCS and the playoff era, so it totally makes sense that they prioritize national championships. I mean, that is the ultimate crown. That's the ultimate goal of playing college football, winning the crown over the other 134 teams that play Division One football. I got to hear from you guys, though. What defines success for you, Buckeye Nation? Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Go Bucks and God bless. We'll see you on the next one.